Hello, Internet. I'm back. Again. Let's go find Lucian. Huh. There's a few people dead here. Not sure why. I uh, got some food. I have a glass of almond milk there with me. Maybe I should heal in case we fight, which we very well may. I only have one. Okay. Okay, good. I'm healed up all the way. Let's go and see what this is about. What are you doing? What's going on here? Your power is astounding. Twice you've cheated death. Yeah, I'm a badass. Yet your abilities are trivial compared to the infinite power of the Spire, which will soon be mine. Now, sleep. I don't want to. What? What Suck is it. that? What are you doing? I'm playing some music. Do you think a mere trinket will save you? Do you think anything can? Stop. Think about what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I will put an end to chaos. Stop now, you fool! You insect! I order you to stop! I don't know what I'm doing. Sleep. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. Nerd. Do you consider that a victory? You're merely delaying the inevitable. All that you've struggled for will be crushed under the majesty of the spire. Why? Why must you interfere? What are you fighting to protect? The world that robs us of what we love most? Shut up! Oh, I thought it'd never shut up. Lucian's dead. So, what happens now? No. I don't know. It is time you gained your reward, your gift for saving the world from a madman's selfish dream. The Spire has awakened, and it still has the power to grant one wish, yours. Come, take my hand. It's all right, little Sparrow. Don't be afraid. All right, let's do it. It's decision time. You stand in the heart of the Spire, <clears throat> as the Archon of the Old Kingdom did. Thousands of years ago. Now it is your turn. Make a wish, but choose wisely, for it will affect all of Albion. Sacrifice. You may choose to revive all those who died in the Spire's making. But in doing so, know that you will never see your family again. Love. Those dearest to you, your family, even your faithful dog, will be restored to life. But their lives come at the cost of the countless innocents who died in building the Spire. Or wealth. More gold than you can imagine to spend on whatever pleases you. But any you loved, and all the Spire's prisoners will remain dead and will not witness your newfound affluence. What will mm. you choose? Decision time, decision time. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to make a quick jump cut here. I'm going to choose the two that I do not want to get an achievement, do a save, and, well, revert a save so that I can get all three achievements at once. So, I will be back with my decision in just one second. All right, folks. I am back. Got the other two achievements for ones that I do not wish to get. All right, so... Shall I choose Sacrifice? Bring back all of those who died building the Spire, but lose my loved ones forever. Shall I choose Love? Get my family back, lose the or miss out on the wealth, and all of the people that died in building the Spire shall never be seen again. Or shall I choose Wealth? Everyone who has died a building spire and my family will never be seen again, but I shall be undoubtedly rich. Well, as you know, I am already rich as fuck. 
I have four million. I don't need any more money. So, wealth, no. Shall I choose love or sacrifice? Sacrifice, no. I do not care about all of those who died building the spire. I never knew them, so I do not care. They do not affect me. The one person in this game, or the one thing in this game that meant something to me, was my dog, Dogbert. No matter how many times I said, God damn it, Dogbert, you stupid dog, Dogbert, and insulted him, he was still there for me. Being a dog, finding me shit, doing stuff for me that nobody else in this game would bother doing for me. So, love. I do not care for my family. So be it. But I care for my dog. And thus, the spire is destroyed. All of those years spent building the spire, working towards getting... I don't know where I'm going with this because I wasn't really working towards anything or stuff. I mean, Lucian was, but what was he going to wish for? Was he going to wor wish for the sacrifice to bring people back who built the spire? Because that would be just going in a loop. A warm welcome awaits you at home. And any who might declare you selfish or callous, any who themselves lost family to this place, will know that given such a choice, they might well have done the same. We heard everything. Yes. A wish was made, and the world will bear its consequences. I'd do almost anything to bring back someone I loved. Oh, I think I might be ill. <laughs> but you could have brought back thousands. All the victims of this horrible place. They had families too. It was his decision. Let him live with it. If you care so little about life, why not just take the money? Yes, 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 but on to more important matters. What about me? What do I get? Cash would be nice. That is up to you. I can send you anywhere from here. What do you wish? I wish to return home to Samarkand. Oh, I've never been to Samarkand. Hot nights, exotic substances, and uninhibited people. Hmm. It's nothing like that. Trust me, I'll find the exciting bids. Fine, but stay out of my way. Hammer? No, I'm done. I know why we got attacked in the cave the day we met. You brought those hollow men in with you. Two monks would have found nothing, but a warrior finds battle always. I want to go north, study with those warrior monks. I was so sick of avoiding violence. Now I'm sick of causing it. Goodbye, hero. I simply can't thank you enough for dragging me into this mess. Oh, I should tell you, I do have to make the occasional sojourn back to Albion. I have an obligation to some friends in Wraithmarsh. <laughs> that he does. I had my doubts about you at first, but I'm glad we met. And we shall meet again. You can count on it. Guess I'll leave Albion to you. Not like I can do anything about it. You did some amazing things. Shame about all the rotten stuff. I guess this will be our last goodbye. Take care of yourself. Farewell, Hammer. And now it is time for you to leave. The world is yours to enjoy, but the spire is mine. Be gone. Hmm? What? Why does she want the spire? Well... That was Fable too. Was, uh... It's pretty good. I think I liked it more than the first one. I know I read a lot of stuff online saying that each Fable game gets worse and worse and worse, but... 
hell, I enjoyed this one much more than I enjoyed the first one. Boss, it didn't have one of those boss battles where, here, I'm going to teleport away. The moment I get near death and heal up and you're going to have to come chase me again. Haha, <laughs> suck it, bitch. Those bosses piss me off. I recently played Don Guard. And the very, what was his name, Harkin? He was one of those bosses. Oh, I'm near death. Oh, I'm going to teleport away. And I'm going to heal up. Come get me, bitch. And he just kept teleporting everywhere, and it was just frustrating to watch. I mean, well, it was frustrating to do as well, despite the fact, that, well, that and the fact that my fucking Xbox kept crashing continuously due to the Dawnguard DLC. Seriously, don't know why. Why my Xbox hates Dawnguard so much, but it was crashing like fuck. But about this game, I did enjoy it. I didn't realize how close I was to finishing it. So that surprised me a little bit. Let's wait for all of this to finish up and then see where we are. I believe we're going to be back in... Bowerstone? Probably? I still have a few achievements that I need to go and get. I have to get the gargoyles. I have to go on some dates. Just little things that I can get. And I'll do them eventually, but... Probably not recording them. Oh. We got more credits. Alright, folks. I'm gonna leave you to this. Thank you guys for watching my Let's Play of Fable 2. And I don't know if I'll be doing Fable 3. I really don't know. It's sitting on the shelf behind me. I may just play it myself and not record it. I don't know. Thanks for watching, folks. Goodbye.
All right, folks. I didn't realize there was, or I forgot there was going to be a letter thing after this. So, dear Sparrow, I woke up today in a peculiar place. It's like a great big forest with lots and lots of trees that go on forever. I was scared at first because I couldn't find you, but there's someone here who says he knows us. Says he knows our family. He told me his name, but I keep forgetting it. Weird. I think he's a king or something. He's very thin and wears a hood and looks scary. But he's nice and I feel safe with him here. Hope you're okay, little sparrow. Somehow I know that it's all going to be alright. And we're going to be together again one day. He promised me. Love, Rose. And... wait for it! Wait, oh yeah! That is the spire! It's done! Teresa has it for whatever reason- Oh, <gasps> my dog is back! <laughs> dog! Doggy, 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 doggy! Guess what? Ball! Go get it! Doggy 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 dog. Alright folks. I got my dog. Where's it going? Where are you going, Dogbert? Come back here. Dogbert! Dogbert! Where are you running to? Well, I think that is the first time I've seen my dog piss. Dog bark! Go get it! Huh. 